there's a Scooby lamp. In you come, mate. Look, you've got some posts. You're not coming in? Don't fancy it. Oh, there you go, mate. Tiny, where do we start? Good question. Okay. Right, let's see what we've got here. So all the rest isn't, you know, lots to work with. <laughs> but what we've done is we've got to cut that off. Yeah. Um, so it's going to be quite high up on the pill on the cushion, I should say. Yeah. Um, but I think the best way to do it is if I try and fold it yeah. as near to the top of the neck as possible. Yeah. And try and make it as straight as possible. Yeah. And let's see how we do. Obviously, if I go too low, we're not going to have anything left for the hem. Got ya. Uh, so if I, I think that's probably as straight as I'm going to get. Does that look good? Yeah, looks good. So when you go a straight line, then what do you do? Um, I'm thinking pins. That's it all pinned up. That's, yeah. So, we just check by going like that. That looks good. Yeah. So the whole idea I'm thinking is if I cut along that line, yeah. then that gets rid of this top bit. Right, got my scissors. So, I'm just going to... Just cut them roughly, yeah? Yeah. Oh, I wanted that. There you go. You can wear that little bit. <laughs> It's just to get it out of the way because obviously it pulls the shape and everything. So. Yeah, got you. Right, and then. To where are you going in? So I'm trying to find. Can you see the fold? Yeah. And so I'm just going to try and keep it as flat as I can. Yeah. yeah, I got it. Yeah.
cut the top now, right along the pins. What's the next bit? Yeah. So, obviously, we want to get rid of this because it's ruining the. Uh, oh, so that's all the waste material you've cut off. So yeah. So that will go with this nice pile over here. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, rather than just taking the end one off, mm -hmm. I'm going to take that one off first. So now we've got that straight edge at the top. A reasonably straight edge, I think. <laughs> cool. Okay. Right, Does yeah. it look okay so far? Yeah, it looks good. Okay. Right. So we've got more of a flatness to work with. So now we need to worry about the shape. Um, so obviously it's hard just to put the cushion on and try and draw around it. That's not going to work. Okay. So. Let me follow you We're then. thinking, so we have this, we have these. Two these are our normal scatter cushions, yeah? Yeah, so we've got two of them. Yeah, one scrappy. <laughs> um, so this one obviously we've taken out. Yeah, turned it inside and out. And turned it inside out to make it easier to get Just, a nice template. So we're kind of making it square, but we're not making the same. We're not putting a zip at the bottom, are we? No. We'll talk about that in a bit, but we're not putting a zip at the bottom. We're just getting okay. the, the We're just front... getting an idea of the shape that we want at the moment. Okay. Um, one thing we have noticed is that this cushion is quite a lot larger than the other cushion, which is actually quite good because yeah. it means that there's room for error. <laughs> so, um, what I'm thinking is we'll use that as an idea, and then if we happen to go a little bit smaller, it's yeah, we got that. Too yeah, be good. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so even though we want the front to be that shape, I normally do the cushions where it's not a zip, as you mentioned, it's normally a fold. Yeah, fold in the, like near the middle, yeah? Yeah. So it overlaps. So, yeah, so you have your square and then you make a rectangle and a rectangle. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping I'm going to be able to do it with this material. Okay. Which may work because, to be honest, if we come straight down, yeah. then that's making a rectangle in itself. It is, yeah. And then if I just take off that hem off the bottom, or actually... We could keep it. Might keep that. Yeah. And use that as the... Yeah. We could keep it. We can try it. Okay. Have a play. We've got the logo and you don't want to do it so it's sort of more to one side than the other. Gotcha. Um, so you want it as central as possible. Mm -hmm. And we're trying to find out the easiest way to do it. And there's two ways of doing it. Um... Quite often with t-shirts, you have this sort of central line, say if you fold your t-shirts or... Fold it in half, yeah, okay. Yeah, you can fold, or you could even iron it in half to yep. get the exact line, yep. if you wanted to. Because um, you can get a rough idea, like from this bit, but what we have done is just measure, because we've got the logo. Yeah. So I move that out of the way. So we measured it, from there to there, it's about 23 Yeah. So. So we were working out that... Eleven and a oh, half. Yeah. It's smack bang in the middle. Of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that makes it nice and easy. Thank you, Dave. Making a mess. That's all right. And hairs. Scrappy. <laughs> um, so, so, so you've got that. You know roughly, as I say, either you iron it or fold it and get an idea. And then you've got your template. Fold that as in half as possible. Yeah, so we're trying um, to get the cushion cover that we've taken off as our template for you that exactly in half yeah and this will help work out your boundaries right yeah and i'm not going to go right to the edge because obviously we want to do a little bit of hemming yeah so i'm just getting an idea and i'm going to line that it does help because you've got quite a bit of logo to work with mm -hmm. um so i'm not going to like that i'm trying yeah, to yeah yeah it's quite and, it, and it's a straight logo as well so yeah <laughs> which makes a change so yeah so that will help you to get the idea of where your center is so when you fold it over that's going to be, that's in, gonna be your, in the middle. Yeah, and then you can either chalk it or do what I do and pin, pin it down it. the edge. Okay. If you're worried about it moving, depending on the material you have, use a pin in some of the corners just to hold it in place so the template doesn't move okay. when you're happy with it. Okay? Thank you, Dave.
still going to keep those on. So what are you doing? Are you folding that up? So we want to extend it up yeah. to make the flap. Yeah. So rather than faffing about with it, I thought if I keep those pinned together yeah. and use that as a guide, got you. then we line it up with that one. Line it up with that. Yeah. You can pin it if you want, but I think we've only got a couple more to put in. So I think I might be able to get away with it. And there you go, that's your rough guide. Cool, so that'll be roughly where we cut it. Yeah. And then, gotcha. I'll cut it roughly and then uh, go from there, see if it's going to work. I'm hoping it will. Do <laughs> uh, you have any pins in that one? Yeah. We're working it out as we go along, so we might have to change it. That's right. Um, because we see this is going to make it extended on one end, if that makes sense. So we'll work it out. Might have to make it like a pillow, where it's all one end, but over flat, if that makes sense. We'll work it out. Okay. Right. So it's all pinned up? Yeah, you just had to pin the other side. Yeah, pin the just, bottom, yeah. Just but, yeah. to keep it all together. Mm -hmm. It won't stay down there. But yeah, if we just cut down the side, then we're getting rid of all the excess. Yeah. Okay. Right. Doesn't look like a t shirt anymore. No, it looks more like just material. Yeah. Okay. So, what we were discussing a moment ago is even though we've pinned this with the idea of sewing at the top, that's not going to work because, yes, we want to have the logo in, yeah. but where we're going to fold it, because of where the logo is quite high, yeah. We're not going to do what I was traditionally do, where you have a fold in the middle. Yeah. It's not going to work. I can't work. see your cushion. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, logo on one side, and then the idea is that you have... Sort so of the logo be on. So, yeah, so and we're going to put the come, logo on. Then the fold will come up to there. Oh, so the logo's on the bottom then. Yeah. And then on the back of it, we're going to bring the front so of we're it bring round. this bit over. Yeah, that's going to come over, over there. with its hem already. Yeah. To make it nice and easy, yeah. But it will mean that the, that the back, back panel is, is too be, it's too long. It's too long. So um, to keep the hem, yeah, so you're going to shorten the back. Yeah, we're going to shorten that so that as it tucks in together, we'll chop the top end of it off. So I think if we unpin it, yeah, and then I think we'll start thinking about taking the back off, yeah, working out, putting that on. Working out where we're going to put the back and how it's going to go on, yeah, and pin it, yeah, into position, okay, so that we can work out from there. How's that sound? Go for it. Okay. So, you can take the back out. I do want to take the back off. I'm going to like that. Right back down again. Okay, that's obviously the front. Mm hmm. So if we get the cushion and we're lying it on top, it sort of looks central. Happy with that? Yep. And then, because the idea is, yes, the top's going to be sewn together, and then yep. we're thinking this is going to come up. Yep. And then that will be part of the tucking. So the other side we want to come to about here. Is okay. that about right? Yeah, that looks about right. Okay. So, so we're doing this sort of inside out. Yep. Yeah. So this will go so over. That we want to have a 
about that low or do you want it higher? No, that's good, I like that. Yeah. So there, obviously lots of slack on the other side as you can see. Yeah. Uh, so. I'm just thinking. Should we just pin them together? Yeah, that's a good idea. You want a little bit of slack because it's going to be tight. I yeah. think when the when the cushion's in, yeah, it's going to be quite tight. So let's try and make that as Sorry. straight as possible. Try and line those two up. I think that's going to work best. Yeah, and then that's try good. And line it up. Yeah, so do the top layer and then do the bottom, I see. I think that's probably going to keep yeah. it as, as straight as possible. Yeah. If we do it that way. So I'm going to get my pins. I'm actually going to pin the whole thing in so it doesn't move and especially on this corner so if I do this whee! <laughs> I thought it, was giving, it gives us a better idea of what we got for the top because you don't want it too baggy do you when you've got it no, no. you want it quite taut for to show cushion off as such. Mm -hmm. So, I'm just trying to make sure it's all on there and that it's quite flat along there. Mm -hmm. So, flat along there, so let me come around. Yeah, what I might do though is while I'm here, just pin that corner because that will help out me trying to line this up. Okay. All right. So that means that we can cut all that excess off, which I might do now to make sure it's not. Okay. In the way. What do you think? Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, you happy? Yeah. Tell them a bit nervous, can't you? So, so we're happy that that's the front. That's a flat. Okay, so if I'm going to take the cushion out, I'm going to have to take the pin out. <laughs> <laughs> ow, ow, ow. I'm trying to do that. What I might do is take that out and then put it here. But you've got to take the cushion out. Yeah, I'm not going all the way through, look. I'm actually just holding that bit in there. Oh, I see. And I might even pop another one just there for the meantime. Again, just trying to keep it flat. And as flat as possible. So that's just on the overlap, yeah? Yeah, just that bit there. Yeah, I got you. So it's not attached to the cushion. And I'm hoping I haven't got any pins stuck in the cushion. That would be very awkward. So I'm just pulling it out slowly, because obviously you don't want to... Upset with the too, pins? Yeah, be too rough with it, all that, like that. Pins coming out. Work. 
flatten it down a bit. So this is obviously the back of it. Mm -hmm. Right, so we've just tidied it up a little bit, um, flattened it out, put all the pins all the way round on this one side to make it easier when you're sewing. Um, so basically, as you can see, from that side it's a bit flatter, and then you've got that side a little flatter again. Yeah. So um, I think, yeah, so we're just ready to sew and get it done. Cool. Right, so we've just done a quick round the outside just to get rid of the pins and had a quick try obviously to see how it, well it fits and as you can tell it's incredibly baggy. Um, it's like it fit me. So yeah, it's a, it's a baggy one today. Um, so we can be quite generous I think we're taking it in a little bit. The top will take a little bit but we don't want to do much to ruin the... Uh, the actual logo yeah but then hopefully that will sort of tuck it in a bit but as you can see that's the whole idea of it is that it sort of just tucks in a bit like a yeah. like a pillow yeah so cool let's have a go right so i have pinned the rough idea of where i want to do my hem as you can see it doesn't look straight but the reason why was because we noticed that it wasn't straight so we've done 46 all the way along and hopefully it'll pin enough to make it reasonably straight. Um, so let's try and get sewing. Uh, okay, so. We've done the top bit and we're happy with the hem on that, but then we made it 46 centimetres, I think it was, wasn't it, between the um, the top. So we thought, obviously it's a square, so we thought, well, we'll make it all the way round. But as you can see, we've got quite a lot of excess there. So we're going to hem it down, but then do an inside hem as well just to secure it because we'll end up just cutting this bit off which will take out what I've already sewn. So rather than making it weak, we're gonna try and make it stronger. So yeah, hopefully that should do the trick.
Okay, so I sewed down one and then back down the other. So at the moment there's three lines, but this one is the one that we can get rid of with all that excess. Yeah. So I'm going to cut that on both sides and then technically I'm hoping, in theory, we'll turn it inside out and it'll be perfect. Cool. So I just have to make sure I don't ruin this now. Right, okay, so we've done the uh, trimming of it just around the edges, and now's the moment of truth. So I'm going to get it, <laughs> turn it inside out, turn the right way around. Well, yeah, I suppose, yeah, <laughs> uh, technically. Uh, just get in the corners. If you have thicker material, sometimes you have to use like a pencil or something like that just to help push the corners out because it's okay. it. One thing you can do if you're very particular about the corners is cut a triangle across it to reduce the amount of stuff that goes in the corners. But I have to admit I'm not too keen on that because I've uh, cut it too close before. I made a hole and you just have to sort of start all over again so the way I look at it it's for us. So Okay, let's see if I can fit the cushion in now. Oh no, it's too small. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? What do you think? Da -da! That's awesome, isn't it? That's come out really well. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> They're a bit nervous. It's a bit high. Yeah, I like that. But it's crappy. They all fur. Have to watch it look. But no, not too bad actually. Who's think scraps? No, you can't sit on it. <laughs> 